Today's thought is based on Luke, chapter 1 and verses 5 to 10. In the time of Herod, king of Judea, there was a priest named Zechariah, who belonged to the priestly division of Abiah. His wife Elizabeth was also a descendant of Aaron. Both of them were righteous in the sight of God, observing all the law's commands and decrees blamelessly. But they were childless because Elizabeth was not able to conceive, and they were both very old. Once, when Zechariah's division was on duty and he was serving as priest before God, he was chosen by Lot, according to the custom of the priesthood, to go into the temple of the Lord and burn incense. And when the time for the burning of incense came, all the assembled worshippers were praying outside. Normally, when we're talking about Advent and the Nativity story, we expect things to happen. Visits by angels, wise men, shepherds, we expect drama. But in this passage, nothing really happens. It's just two people going about their lives. I think that's the point. Yes, there is a visit by an angel, but it happens tomorrow. But it only happens in tomorrow's reading because of today. The angel arrives because of today's reading. What do we know about Zechariah and Elizabeth? Well, they're described as very old. A mistake people often make is to assume that means about 40. After all, their average lifespan was a lot shorter than ours. However, the reason for that is a lot of children died young. If you made it to adulthood, you had a reasonable chance of making old age, excepting wars and plagues, of course. So their definition of old age wasn't really all that much different from ours. They're also described as being childless. They lived in a society where children were considered a blessing from God. So if you were childless, that meant that God must have something against you. It would have been expected for Zechariah to divorce Elizabeth and have children by a new wife. But he didn't do that. Just think, they'd gone through 40 years or more of marriage with people whispering about them, about their imagined sins, about what God had against them. Somehow they survived this. They're described as righteous in the sight of God. So Zechariah enters the temple to burn incense. It's not like our church services. This took place outside the building. Only the priest entered the building and only twice a day. Given the number of descendants of Aaron by this time, this may well be the only occasion that Zechariah performed the duty. But here he is, faithfully performing his act of worship. It's the culmination of a lifelong devotion to God, both for him and also for Elizabeth. And because of that lifelong devotion and service, despite the whispers and rumours, despite the seeming lack of blessing from the God, that means that God can choose them to, ah, oh, but that's tomorrow's reading, so you'll have to come back for that. For us, we can consider their example. They didn't really do anything out of the ordinary, if you ignore tomorrow, but as a result of them leading ordinary lives, but with constant devotion to God, God was able to set an extraordinary set of events in motion. Maybe we don't feel God's doing anything very much to us. Well, don't be so sure. Your faith and service may lead to miracles elsewhere.